travelingmail.com. Hi there. Good. How are you today? Do you have our information already? I do. Thanks so much. Thank you. Welcome to Yellowstone. Welcome to Yellowstone. Now queue up. Getting ready to go riding with our friends Aaron and Mike who have wilderness pack trips and it's really exciting because we've never been horseback riding in the park before or at least the boys and I haven't and we're gonna get to go off into this area that we haven't been um, and be on horses and maybe see a wolf den that's not being used anymore of course and uh, I don't know what else but we're pretty thrilled at this uh, adventure about to happen. a blast. We saw a badger and the views are fantastic. Uh, we also have seen a lot of sheds which are um, when the antlers fall off from deer or elk and the rodents seem to be chewing them because they like the antler and it's very nutritional. <laughs> What's he doing there, Anders? I'm not doing anything. The horses want my crust. Heading over to an abandoned wolf den, which should be pretty exciting. And we've seen lots of wildflowers, and um, it feels like fall. Things are starting to turn red already. Seems a little early. Great views of the mountains still. And Ol' Elmo here is doing a good job of keeping me happy, comfortable, and sightseeing. Well, they brought them back in 95 and they used it at least the first five or six years um, when they first brought them in. And then the packs have all kind of changed throughout the years. And so, you know, different packs will use different den sites, I imagine. And, uh, but, uh, but they always kind of come back to these rendezvous points and, uh, and uh, just hang out. It's just a safe place to be. Nobody can see them from the road. Uh, you know, they got some shade and uh, just nobody's gonna mess with them. So yeah, this so is a great a neat, place neat place to be We got to see I think 14 of them one day. Oh really? We came in from a different direction They all come running down the hill kind of like we rode in and right in front of us. And it's wow. pretty amazing <laughs>
This is such a great way to see the backcountry of Yellowstone and I've never done it this way. Mike and Aaron have been doing this for 23 years and probably know this area as well as anyone, if not better. And so getting to experience this um, on horseback, off trail, has been a real, a real pleasure. Wilderness pack trips, rides into Yellowstone as stock concessioners for 23 years. I love that we've raised our kids doing this and that they have a sense of what wilderness is. I think that's, I can still get pretty tired of the packing when I'm when packing things at home, but to get onto a trail and get into a camp that uh, basically looks like no one's ever been there, I think we're doing a pretty good job as caretakers of wilderness here in Yellowstone. I think that's my favorite part. Why Yellowstone? Uh, it's pure luck, uh, but it's probably one of the largest landmass that's in its, uh, you know, kind of natural state. Is once you get away from the road, uh, it's just like it was hundreds or thousands of years ago. Awesome. What's your favorite day trip here? You know, we like to. Uh, I like to go to the Hayden Valley, ride there, Blacktail Plateau where we rode today. You know, are just two of the favorites. Um, just because it's big open country and see a long ways and uh, you know a lot of times see a lot of wildlife. You know it's kind of amazing you get a lot of people that are worried about the trip prior to going on a ride and you get to the parking lot and you start to saddle up your horse I swear they smell a horse and feel a horse and all of those worries just kind of fall away and two miles into the trip they don't remember they had a cell phone they're looking for buffalo they're they're staying in the moment and uh, I think I really get a kick out of seeing kids that might otherwise spend a lot of their time you know plugged into a cellular device or some sort of just start playing with rocks and sticks and making a fire and you know the parents see the difference in the kids too so that's pretty neat. I hope they take it home with them. Every trip ends with ice cream. I can honestly say that's probably one of the most enjoyable days I've spent in Yellowstone. Uh, it's a beautiful place, but getting away from all the crowds that you can see in the background here at Mammoth, um, and seeing just the rolling hills and the open spaces and the trees and the grass, and you're on horses, and uh, the guides, uh, Mike and Aaron, were fantastic, just so laid back. And to see the grins on the kid's face and on Melinda's face and uh, to see them handling the horses by themselves was pretty epic. Uh, and just, I don't know, I just was looking around the whole time with this big giant smile on my face. Um, if you ever get a chance to come to Yellowstone, that's you're lucky enough. But if you get a chance to go uh, horseback riding with Mike and Aaron, you should definitely take it, um, especially if you have kids. I never felt like I had to worry about the kids at all. The horses were on autopilot, but you could still ride them and direct them a little bit. Um, and the terrain was fine, and they gave us lots of tips along the way. And, uh, you know, it's just a nice, relaxing way to spend a day and see some incredible stuff. Uh, and now, we get to have ice cream. Uh, and I have such a lovely wife that she volunteered to let me come outside away from the crowds and uh, wait in the cool shade while they come out. Anyway, great day in Yellowstone. Can't beat it. We love Yellowstone and I can't emphasize enough what a great experience being off the beaten path with uh, wilderness pack trips was today. And honestly, the park is crazy busy in the summer and it's kind of hard to get to know it and to really understand why it is so special. But they reminded us with this backcountry experience. So if you like the video, we would love a thumbs up. Of course, we always want to hear your voice in the comments. And hopefully you will subscribe 
and share this and any other videos with your friends. Thanks.